welcome to my channel my name is Cosmina and in today's video we're gonna play with some makeup some new makeup some things that I got in my trend mode box uh, I'm gonna put some images of everything that I got in there and then uh, you know we're just gonna play with makeup and talk about makeup so uh, let's roll first we're gonna try this eye duty niacinamide brightening cream safe for sensitive skin i got this in my trend mode box and i was kind of excited actually i was excited for this box uh there were i think one or other one or two other boxes from trend mode that i was excited for uh but i wasn't able to get them this one actually buy some god some magic some something going on i was able to grab it so let's put this in this is from uh, first aid beauty yeah which i just finally tried some some stuff from them I actually put on my skin um on I actually just uh, applied this on my skin right before I went on camera which is ultra repair barrier cream and I was lucky enough to find this at TJ Maxx for a really good price if you haven't seen that one I'm gonna link it in the eye so you can see oh wow this is colorful I mm, okay I I was not expecting that so let's put this in here this one is supposed to uh, brighten and minimize the appearance of dark circles. Okay. I mean, it's really nice. It feels really good. It feels really moisturizing, actually. And light, lightweight, very lightweight, which is very important for an eye cream. And yeah, it's smooth. It applies really nice to the skin. I actually do like it. I feel like it did brightening. I don't know if it really cover all my dark circles, but it is nice. Next, we're just gonna go with one of my favorites, Ulta Beauty Poreless Face Primer. I had this for a long time. I just recently repurchased it because I was out of it, and I tried some other primers meanwhile, and I still love this one the most. It's just so smooth and gliding and it just makes my face look really beautiful, poreless, but still has that glow from within, which I really, really like. So there we go. And next, we're gonna go with a foundation that I know everybody's talking about right now. This is ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation, Hyaluronic Hydrating foundation and this one is actually really nice i've tried it for uh at least a week and a half right now and i actually do like it i just don't have it in the right shade i got a medium which is in 105 n and unfortunately it's not quite the right shade for me but i do enjoy it actually it's a very lightweight also from trend mood box we're gonna try for the very first time this uh what is it the sponge by makeup eraser which it is kind of interesting i mean i don't know if i want to wash my beauty sponge in the washer per se because this is that's what it says it's washer machine wash in your washer wash bowl approximately once a week with your makeup eraser towel load and uh, dryer toss sponge and wash bowl into the dryer on high heat the higher the heat the happier the sponge longer heat a less germ the, the sponge is specially formulated with the original makeup eraser using the same unique technique wash tech i don't like i said i don't know necessarily if i want to put my beauty sponge in the washer i do wash it myself and i wash it really good um but i guess if you really are a little bit you know uh, worried about the germs that could be a good thing for you you could just put it in there i'm gonna try it and see how it works i do have a lot uh, a lot of things um I do have a lot of the makeup erasers, uh, what are these called, the, the towels, I have a bunch of them and I do enjoy them, I do like them, and uh, we'll see if I like this sponge too, hopefully, 
I mean, it feels really nice in the hand. It's really squishy and uh, it grew quite a lot while I put it in the water. So let's do this. Yeah, it looks good. All right, so there you go. It went on really nice. I actually do enjoy a lot uh, the way it went on and I do like this foundation. As you can see, it doesn't quite match perfectly, but it's pretty close to my skin tone. So I think I can get away with that, you know what I mean? I my concealer, so. I'm just gonna use KKW concealer and this is in four. I'm actually, I am kind of surprised I was able to finish two of my favorite concealers and I am absolutely amazed about that because you're gonna see in one of my next videos I'm gonna talk about the fact that I am gonna stop uh, buying products like crazy because I start I need to start using up some of the makeup items that I do have before I am starting a buying again because you know it's not necessarily about the Rona fact is the fact that I physically cannot use all these products I have so uh, many so many and when I was able to finish up two of my favorite pencil which I had for like a year a year or something I was like so ecstatic so ecstatic and i hope i am hoping to be able to finish this one out and then we'll see which other one is gonna come in but i'm do gonna create a pan this pan that um video as well so look at that Oof, i love it love it so for my um powders for my powders, I'm just gonna use two of my old ones. So I'm not just gonna put it on the screen. I'm just gonna show you which ones I'm gonna use. This one is Maybelline Fit Me in Medium. I'm gonna use this for all over my face. And this one is Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finish Powder in Light Medium. And I'm gonna use this one under my eyes. So um, I did my eyebrows also while I was off camera. Now we're gonna play with this. Uh, palette actually nabla is a brand that i was interested in but i never actually purchased anything from them and i'm glad uh um trendwood had it in her box because i was really interested to try some of their products and this eyeshadow palette is not the one that i actually wanted to try but this eyeshadow palette is actually a really nice one um but i don't remember was it I think it's cutie or something called the one that I was trying to get um, which is not bad I mean this is not bad either I'm gonna be more than happy to try this so for an eyeshadow look what, what, what should we do today I'm really not sure which direction to go to but let's start with a transition shade contigo this one right here and I am just gonna apply this all over my lid wow, this is kind of it's darker than what I thought huh, interesting all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this brush and try to spread it out a little better than the other one I'm going to bring it up all the way as much as I can. All right, so now I'm thinking, I really like when I um, swatch this. I really like Big Experience and also I like Addiction. Rosemary is really beautiful. Hypersensual wasn't that great. Croatian Crown was nice. Fantasize. But I'm thinking I'm going to go with Julieta and just see, maybe I'm just going to put it right in here. Yeah, we could do that. I mean, it's nice, this palette, you can do a lot of neutrals uh, looks, but also you can do some colorful ones too. You can do some night evening ones, so it's a really nice palette. That's very neutral look. I don't know if I want to stop here. It's like, meh. 
it's kind of like a blah, right? So let's do just a little more. What? <laughs> what should we do? I'm thinking I'm going to go with addiction because addiction looks really nice, actually. So I'm going to go with addiction in that outer corner and just kind of darken this thing up like right over there. Oh yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're gonna go and uh, we're gonna put creation crown, I think, right in the middle. Oh. A little bit. Actually don't like it that much so I'm gonna just go with maybe I'm just gonna apply a little bit of the play hard oh I like that yeah let's do that and now under my eye I am gonna go with mea culpa, which is this brown right here. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of the addiction as well. And then for the inner corner, we're going to go with I Promise. Alright, so I am not liking this look that much, to be honest with you. It is kind of a harder formula to work with, uh, especially the Play Hard was kind of hard to put it on. Creation uh, crown was kind of hard to put it on as well. So I'm not, mm, from what I tried, not a big fan right now. So let me finish this. The one thing that I kind of wanted the most, and that's why I purchased this, it was this um, mascara from Atlash. From, it was this mascara from Marc Jacobs. It's called Atlash. And I have the exact one. I'm not gonna open this one. I'm gonna use mine. And it's one of my favorite foundation. If you haven't seen it, the video where I talk uh, and rate all my foundations, I'm gonna link it in the eye. But I have mine right here. So we're gonna apply this. I'm not gonna go full crazy with applying the mascara because we are definitely gonna go and put those lashes on, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and try to apply this uh, liner thingy, and which apparently it's an adhesive for for the um, lashes. It looks exactly like a normal eyeliner. So let's see. All right. It looks pretty nice, actually. It looks like a normal eyeliner, so uh, we'll see. Let me go and apply it on this one eye, and then uh, we'll go from there. I right, said so they're both on. I still, they still kind of feel uncomfortable to me personally, but um, they're on, and it wasn't as hard to put them on, but it still wasn't that simple either. So I'm gonna go in with bombshell. Um, from June and Co. And I'm gonna use this for as a bronzer, this shit as a bronzer. On my nose.
I actually bought this because one of uh, one of my because one of my viewers, Priscilla, thank you for this, for letting me know about the sale and everything when that was going on. And I got it because of you and I love it. There we go. I'm gonna get a little bit over here too. We're gonna use from the same, we're gonna use this one for my blush. This one is very, very pigmented blush. So be careful when you apply it because it is a very pigmented. I'm gonna add a little bit on my nose too. And then I am gonna go for the highlight, which is also pretty cool. The highlighter is amazing. For lips, the last thing in Trend Mood Box, we have three things from Milani. These are fruit fetish strawberry lemon, uh, stra lip balms. They're lip balms and I have one in lip uh, in strawberry lemonade. I have one in dragon fruit and peach and then one in mango and coconut. I am gonna go for dragon fruit and peach. There we go. Mmm, smells so good. I love it. You know how the um, Starbucks uh, dragon fruit smells like the drink? The refresher drink? That's how this one smells. All right, so there we go. This is all I have on my face today, I'm gonna spray it really quick with Colpac Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. Love this, it smells so good and it looks so good on me. And then at the end, this is an extra step that I do right now. It is a Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Face Mist Sunscreen and this is in SPF 55. And I add a little bit of that on top. So this is the eye look. These are the lashes, the lip balm, and everything else that we put on my face today. Let's talk a little bit about this. Foundation love. Eye cream, it's nice. Um, what I don't like and what I did not like it's this eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna try to play a little bit more with it. I feel like the formula is very hard to work with. It doesn't glide it as seamless as I'm kind of got used to it from other eyeshadow palettes that I own. Um, this um, lashes, they're just kind of, they're okay. I just don't wear lashes that much. And it feels like this one is gonna come off anytime. Hopefully it's not, we'll see. Um, this one apparently seems to stay there with no problems. This one seems to be moving a little bit too much. Um, but I mean, it's a nice interesting idea if you are wearing lashes and you have something like a black eyeliner that you always use, you always wear, you can put that underneath and make it look really nice. I mean, it's a cool idea. Let me put the, cause uh, I was, I knew something was missing 
and it was the mascara i didn't put mascara under my on the bottom lashes There you go. Now I put my skin on my bottom lashes too. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for uh, being here. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all next time with another video. What do you think about my background though? You like my background? See ya.